I'm Lindsay Partridge. And I'm Franny Galvinheim. And we are packing up the trailer because tomorrow I take off to BC to go to the main event in BC Chilliwack to represent Scoot Boot for the trade show that's going on there. And basically, I think I arrive back, my plane comes home at 10.30 at night on Monday, and then I have to, you know, come drive home and everything like that, and then we leave Tuesday morning to go to Kentucky. So today is the very last day for me to do anything with my horses, and we're getting the trailer ready. So I wanted to sort of share with you how we're getting ready. And for me, I know I'm most excited about when I get down there, uh, getting to ride in the big covered arena again and trying my freestyle. Looking forward to doing trail. Definitely super nervous because I think people are going to sort of be watching me this year and expecting great things and I hope I live up to those expectations. I've been trying to prepare my horses and I just hope that everything goes really well. And I guess I'm most nervous too about my freestyle because this year I'm going bareback and bridleless and I'm really hoping that it's going to go well. We've only practiced the routine once before heading down to Kentucky and it involves my team so I really hope that it goes well and that we get another chance to practice while we're in Kentucky but what about you Franny? What are you most excited for? I'm most excited for in the morning last year Lindsay and Danica would always go out on trail rides and it was really beautiful and Gus really likes trails so I'm really excited that that will calm him down and I'm also really excited to ride in the big covered arena because that will be really really fun. Yeah it's gonna be like anything that you're nervous about? I'm not really that nervous. Now that my saddle fits, I'm not really that nervous about anything anymore. That's good. That's a good attitude to have. To give you a little bit of a peek about what we did today, we did our, well, my very last cross-country schooling. So it was my second time going to Dreamcrest with Pentland today. We schooled over a lot of the tables and the coops. I had no idea what height I was jumping. I just know that I have to do at least two foot six for when we're in Kentucky. So I was trying to do things that were either two six or a little bit bigger so that way when we go down there, he can feel over prepared and confident. He did really, really well today. So I know that I have to ride to every fence because if I was sort of just sort of letting him take me to it, that was the only time that he stopped. So otherwise I'm feeling really, really good about the cross-country schooling that we did today. And I had a choice whether or not to go to a hunt today and do his third ever hunt or to go cross-country schooling. And I decided to go cross-country schooling because I felt like we really just needed to see more jumps and see coops. And a piece of the field hunter is going to be a course. So I thought that's something that we really needed to do. Whereas a hunt, we've done two of them, not very big hunts. But he's fine on the trails and he's fine traveling in groups. So I felt like that wasn't such a big deal. To give you a little sneak peek in the trailer, a few things that we're going to bring with us. I'll share with you. So in this bag here is my Accu horse mat. This is something that I won last year in Kentucky after winning America's Most Wanted Thoroughbred. And it's basically this blanket that has uh, these little acupuncture things in it, these little sort of acupuncture points. And I didn't use it until a few weeks ago because I didn't really know what it, you know, how to use it or what it was for. And to be honest, I wouldn't normally buy something like this and think that it was going to work. But when Petman's back was getting sore and I was having trouble getting my left leads, I was trying chiropractor, I was trying massage, I had the saddle fitter come out, but it was still, nothing was happening. He was still, his back was upset. And so I decided to try this blanket and I put it on for 40 minutes. He really didn't like it. He was sort of dancing around. He didn't know what it was all about. But the next day, his back was totally fine and I was able to get my left leads again. So now I swear by this thing and I use it almost every day with him, almost every day I take him out. And so it's definitely coming down with us to Kentucky and my horses will definitely be wearing it between rounds. I thought that was kind of interesting, something that I won last year, it's coming back down with me this year. Omega Alpha has been super kind to us, so we're taking down quite a few things. We've got our gastro effects which we give before we ride to help make sure that they don't have stomach upsets. They've given us some of these tubes for Regenerex EQ Plus. We also have tubes in the powder form of the Equisol Light. So the, this stuff we're going to give when we get down there because it um, helps 
give them a good appetite, helps their stomach stay well, helps to prevent ulcers. The Equisol Light is for recovery formula, so after their big trail rides, after field hunting, the jumping or anything like that, and we want to make sure we um, help their muscles out with the recovery formula, so we're going to be giving them that. As well as we've got our Biotic 8, which is just sort of general gut health, so we're going to be doing that. We have a few other little goodies tucked away in here. One of my favorite things to use, Espana Silk was a product that was out last year at Kentucky. And basically, I met them down there and I really like this type of spray over a Shoshin because Shoshin can dry a horse's coat out and it might make it really slick. Whereas this is an antiseptic spray. It's an all-natural spray. It smells really good. It's really good essential oils for the horse's coat. Gives them that nice sheen without making them super slippery and it's actually good for their coat rather than something else. So I really like that. Uh, also this year I'm using Tedda for my wraps. So I'm doing a lot of jumping this year because I'm doing the field hunter and I don't like to wrap my horse's legs just because there's the possibility, more chance for something to go wrong. Maybe the wraps are going to slope down in the night. Maybe I'm going to accidentally do them too tight or too loose. I don't know. This is just, you spray it on and it does the same thing. So I just spray it all over their legs and the stifles and then they're fine. So I use that. Really, really easy product. I've also been um, using where are they? My scoop boots. I have a package of scoop boots. So Pentland doesn't have very good feet at all, but he can't hold shoes and I don't like using horseshoes on horses. So I have my bag of scoop boots. So what I love about scoop boots is they don't rub, they don't twist, they don't turn. So he's going to be jumping in these when we do field hunter. We're going to ride in them on the trails because I've got the good tread that's underneath. So I've got my bag of extras. So that way, uh, if we happen to break one or something, then we're going to swap that out. And I will make sure I change the blue. Right now it's blue, and I don't think that's going to go over well in Field Hunter, so i got to make sure I swap that out. So we're going to do that. And then I've also been treating, I treated them all for thrush today, because I wanted to make sure, didn't want to take any chances that anything was going to happen, make their feet sore. I had a close call last year with an abscess with Khaleesi. Uh, before she went down. So this year, not taking any chances, treating for thrush. So Petland's been schooled today. I did a bit of groundwork with Mystique earlier today. So now what I'm going to do is pull out trivia time, or Mystique as I call her, and I'm going to do one more bareback and bridalist practice before Kentucky, which is a really scary thought. And we're going to finish packing up the trailer, get the hay bags all done, and then we are ready to roll. And I'm going to hope that my health is good. Right now I'm a little bit sick. I'm on an antibiotic, so I'm hoping that I'm going to get over that. But either way, I'm in good spirits. And we're going to have lots of fun. And we will give you lots of updates while we're down in Kentucky. And just want to thank you guys for watching. We'll be sharing our journey with you. And we will see you later. So bye for now.